Oh, life was so much different when I was trucking. So I gotta um, do some manure today. And I might as well use this tractor. There are any cars in here? That old Massey. That's a Massey Ferguson 95. Look at that old thing. It's 100 horsepower. It's a diesel. It's a six cylinder. It still runs. He doesn't use it much. I mean, here and there. Sometimes he pulls that bat wing back there with it. But, um, really, other than that, it doesn't get used anymore, <laughs> obviously. Probably 60 years old. So, what we do is this hammer, and we use this thing. And that tether back there, obviously, with the one with the two wheels, we, we use that. And we use this occasionally, the bulldozer. John Deere 450, and uh, we use that backhoe. They're, they're old too, but he, he, uh, he uh, um, hadn't used them in a long time, but so I really don't know if he's real happy that he has met me. <laughs> you know, um, I really got things going here. I mean, the whole neighborhood is just, to be honest with you, up in arms about everything. It seems like we're down across the street, upset that we built this barn. Because it, it obstructs the view from the, the beautiful view he had. <laughs> uh, however, next year, one just like this is probably going to be built, I think, either here. I'm not quite sure of that. I wouldn't mind it being right here. It'd be pretty cool. And facing that way, with the opening that way towards the barn. Or it will be built on the other side of that barn in that field. But I think I think that um, it's going to be built here, that we're there, just on this side of that old barn. And uh, we'll have to level that ground out, obviously. But I think that's where it's going to go. No, I'm not sure exactly. Um, and the reason we want to build one of it's not for m more uh, machines like this. This is just this is all going to be rearranged. In there. It's going to be built for hay, so we can put hay in it. I mean, um, obviously, I could put a lot of hay in here. Thirty by uh, an eighty-foot barn. We can put a lot of square bales in there. And then we'll put some more back in the old barns too. You know, but uh, mostly in here. That'll... So I'm going to get my tractor going here and pull a couple of wagons out. i got to move some oats. And then I want to clean the cows again. They're getting pretty nasty in there. So let me get that going. Uh, I moved the wagon. Still got oats in this one. But I cleaned that guy out. Um, well this manure spreader, the Mill Creek, it works great. It would be better, it works better without so much hay in it because it does wrap around that beater bar. So you got to get off once in a while and you got to clean it. Uh, I mean, it look, most of the time it just keeps running, but a lot of hay keeps building up around there.
if it wasn't for this bar back there, it would do a better job because it gets caught in that the straw or hay, whatever. You know, it, it's it. I mean, it's it does a good job except for you know the hay getting wrapped around the beater bar. There's nothing you can do about it. You just have to unwind it. But other than that, it does, you know, it does a good job other than that. I, I, I do like it. But you just have to, uh, you have to work with it. Because I have so much gets collected, but whatever. I've seen it happen to the bigger ones too. You gotta, you know, you gotta unwind them or just get it off of there.
Husband. But I need water, so I'm gonna run the hose in here and get water into those tubs while I fix the manure spread. So you can see that everything is hooked up now. Uh, just there's a pump goes in there and it's still a little crude. Yeah, I know, but it's better than, you know, trying to get it, you know, I just leave the holes out here now too. It's summer. Winter time ain't happening that way. I mean, I really don't even have to wind this hose up, but I do because it's, you know, it's more convenient for, because we use this pathway quite a bit. I get the I really don't need it all but um, this one is not right about this one you really know. the camera holder is broken uh -oh. it was okay so you can take it off now without I don't know. It just falls off now in this camera holder, so on a combine with it so I'm gonna just take my electric cord out here plug her in and we're ready to go see how it could be any tighter that's tight and that's engaged what it does is you can see that just actually that sprocket goes up and down right there and uh, detaches it, the chain from this sprocket here and when you engage it you just it just pulls that sprocket on that wheel it's pretty tight I wonder if it's this one that's, I mean this is actually the, uh, I just never heard it, you know, um, it's, it's skipping or something, I mean, kind of, you can hear it, I never heard it do that before until he started using it, so. Uh, oil a chain, not that it, I oiled it not too long ago, so doesn't really need much. Just keep it oiled. I guess the only thing I can do is uh, let's see if it's this side that's skipping. Everything is different on this. I 
which is really weird because this is bigger, that's smaller. The same with this side. Panels on. Yeah, that's the right size. Okay. Not much there. Well, I guess it's just the way it is. Well, everything's working properly, so... Everything's working properly. There's no grease fittings on this machine at all, it's just all sealed bearings. It's just pretty basic. Wheels drive everything. This thing's not easy to get back on. I'd leave it off, but... I'm just going to that way. It's on the sprocket now.
guess they really want you to take the wire off if you do this. Who's going to do that? Well, I get it, I know. Sometimes, you know, the everyday life on a farm is boring almost for some folks. It isn't for me. I, I, uh, I enjoy the things I do here. I mean, even though sometimes it's kind of, it's, kinda, it's you know, mundane work, pumping water, taking out manure, those things that you do on a farm every day. Uh, I don't clean the barn every day, but um, it's just, I'm trying to do better, actually trying to film what I can. Um, it's just, it's not always the most exciting thing, you know, when you're working. Anyway, I'm going to get to the house and um, I'm going to, uh, you know, I got to get milk for the, the, the cows. That one, he's still got a hurt leg and it's kind of bothering me. Not sure what to do. Maybe just get some wrap, wrap it. You know. I'm not sure. I'll see what I can do with his leg. And I don't think it's not broken because he wouldn't be able to stand on. He does walk on it, but he, it's, it's his kneecap swollen, so he probably twisted it pretty good. Um, I don't know. All right. Well, I'm gonna cut this video now and uh let you guys go i gotta get to the house load up some junk for uh it's going to the scrap yard and um get some coffee get back down here do chores catch up with you